What's going on guys? Welcome back to Make It or Break It Monday, the show that helps you get your head right so you can start your week right. Guys, today we're talking about ceilings and we're talking about heroes. So all of my sales leaders listen up, this one is specifically for you. Leaders are the ceiling. We all know we're the ceilings of our own lives, meaning we control and we push the ceiling as far as we actually choose. Being a sales leader though, your ceiling impacts more than just your own potential. It impacts and influences the potential of your entire team. So I get how at times it can be a privilege and at other times it can feel like a burden or a heavy responsibility or maybe like all three of those things kind of combined in one. But understand that your team will rise to your level and no further, meaning to your ceiling. So your expectations, your level of effort that it takes to be able to hit what you believe is your potential is as far as your team is gonna strive as well. So anything that you've ever wanted, whether that's a fantastic culture, great relationships, or even personal possessions, every single one of those things have been sought after in your lives, you've been envious of, you have things that you have personally wanted. So every regret actually starts off as envy. And envy with no action or change is what actually turns into regret. So those things that you've wanted in life, those things that you have personally sought after, if you have not made a change or taken an action to be able to get those things, then later in life, those things to you are regrets, things that you never achieved. So how do you actually change that story for yourself? Every story has five main things. Every, and those five things start with a hero and a problem. Every great movie, every great story has always had a hero. It's the leading character of the story. You guys are the leading characters of your lives, meaning you're the hero of your life. And your people are the heroes of their own lives. So every problem has a failure and its own story to go along with that failure. You guys ever notice, I know I have a, I have a friend who's a Patriots fan, and every time the Patriots win, he's like, yeah, they were supposed to win. It was, they crushed him, it was a fantastic game. But every time they lose, there's a story, right? The NFL was out to get them, Gronk was hurt, or whatever happens, right? There's always a story that goes along with it. But we have to be able to overcome those problems as part of that story. So if number one is a hero and number two is problem, number three is every hero needs a guide to be able to get over those problems. So if every single one of your uh, people on your team is a hero, then they need you to be the guide to help them overcome those problems. That is our job, that is our goal, and it's based on the ceiling that we personally set for ourselves. So if there's a hero, a problem, and a guide, the last thing you need to do is you need to have a plan and you need to have a call to action to be able to get that level of excitement, intensity, energy out of that person so they don't have those regrets and instead they turn that envy into success and things that they've been able to accomplish in life. Because leaders today, you, leaders today traditionally lack truth, vision, and rest. So we have to be able to tell the truth and see everything for what it is as of today. You guys all know the people who live in the past, talk about high school, talk about all these different things that happened that they were proud of at the time. They're, they're, ha they're not having vision forward. They're looking back and they're not telling themselves the actual truth of what's happening in this situation, which unfortunately gives a lack of rest. So think about it like this. If you guys are playing basketball, playing defense is so much more exhausting than playing offense. Playing offense is so much more fun, meaning you're not looking in the past anymore, right? You're striving for the future. You're striving to accomplish those things based on that ceiling that you set for yourself and your team. But you have to help your team avoid that disaster. And you have to do this in a couple different ways. But Understand that your people want to be equipped with the right tools and they want to be encouraged. So you have to equip them and you have to encourage them in every single scenario, okay? Every hero needs a guide. So you guys need to make all of your people heroes of their own story and they will make you a hero of your story. Leading is feeding. Go feed someone this week.